Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Gaynor here. We are back again to learn a little bit more about our community helpers. Today, our focus is going to be on construction workers. Construction workers serve an important part in our community by building our streets, buildings, and towns. Today, we're gonna to read this story that incorporates facts about this community helper. Chapter one, trucks with teeth. Our class is taking a field trip. We're visiting a construction zone. Mr. Moore greets us. He is the boss here. He's going to show us how construction workers build a new building. So a construction zone, as you could see here, there's gates and a fence around the area in which they're working. So the construction zone is the area in which they're working to build something new. And it could be very dangerous. He says we have to stay outside the fence. Workers only in a construction zone. So construction workers are people in the community. A community is a group of people who live in the same city, town, or neighborhood. Some construction workers work on buildings. Some build roads. Iron workers create work, concrete workers, carpenters, roofers, and plumbers. All construction workers. So let's take a look about how they do their job. This isn't just any construction site. It's our new school. But right now, it's mostly dirt. Awesome, Aiden says. We can play King of the Hill at recess. So they're showing here how it, you have an idea of your head of how it's a construction site. And a lot of the times it starts out with like piles of dirt and they take it away and they build up. So I think that that was an awesome idea how they have the dirt mound there. Mr. Moore smiles. All this dirt will be flat. You'll have a playground on top. We see lots of trucks. Some work with big metal teeth. Some have strong arms. So an excavator digs wide ditches for basements. So that's the blue truck that you see on the left-hand page. It digs narrow ditches called trenches for water pipes. It also moves dirt for making roads. The trucks don't do all the work. People are inside. They steer. They guide heavy loads. So just like how we steer a car, we steer these machineries and there's certain buttons and um, things in which they have to press in order to collect the dirt or items that they want to remove. Chapter two, safety first. Mr. Moore used to be a carpenter. He helped build things with wood. Later, he was the lead carpenter. Now he is the leader of all the workers. So the lead carpenter is the one that looks over all the plans, making sure everyone's working correctly. They're in charge of overseeing the whole project. He follows plans that an architect created. Together, the workers turn those plans into a building. So here we have their plans in which they're looking at, which is like a sketch of what they want to have the building look like. Construction workers take classes and get training to learn how to do their job. They may start work as apprentices. That means they learn on the job from other workers. So this is a special job because there's a lot that goes into a lot of math, a lot of um, background knowledge, um, taking advice from others. So you really have to work as a team when you're working as a construction worker because there's so many different parts um, to build a building or a road um, or any kind of um, thing in which they're working on together. Mr. Moore's number one job is keeping people safe. He makes sure workers wear hard hats to protect their heads. So those are the orange hats that we see here in the, in the book. They wear orange safety vests so others can see them easily. So that would be like their uniform. So that's 
the way that they keep themselves safe and that the other people know that they are construction workers as well. Beep, beep. A construction mixer beeps as it backs up. Because this is such a large vehicle, um, they make sure to have that noise to alert people. The beeping helps keep everyone safe. Workers know to move out of the truck's path when they hear it. Wet concrete flows through a long pipe to the ground. This will be our school floor. So concrete is the is the gray, like almost like cement, um, and it's very strong and sturdy. Drivers must get the concrete to the construction zone quickly. Concrete become begins to dry after about 90 minutes. Then it comes hard. It won't pour. Will we sink in it? Luke asks. Mr. Moore says the concrete will dry and harden. Then carpets and rugs will go on top. So remember, again, we see the children looking in from the fence, okay? Remember, construction sites can be very dangerous, and we need to make sure that we give them their space. Chapter 3, Green School. Some workers work high above the ground. Masons build the walls with bricks. Someone runs wires for electricity through the walls. Crunch. A few bricks, bricks break. They will be recycled. So will leftover metal, wood, cardboard, and concrete. So we can see here how all the different people have to work together to build this project, to build this school. He unrolls our new school drawing. Solar panels on the roof will take in energy from the sun. This energy will power our school, power our computers, lights, and more. So solar panels are what you kind of see on top of the yellow, and they uh, soak in energy from the sun to provide us electricity. Big windows can also make our buildings earth friendly. Windows and skylights let in sunlight, so people don't always need the lights on. That saves energy. We can't wait for our sunny green school to be finished because Mr. Moore lends a hand to build our new school. We give him a hand. So they're cheering for him here because they are so excited about their new school that is being built. Here we have a glossary um, as well as um, a how to make a graham cracker house. That would actually be pretty cool right now as we're home. Um, we usually make gingerbread houses, uh, but a graham cracker house is pretty awesome as well. And you can be your own construction worker. How cool is that? You could pause this page if you wanted to follow uh, the directions here for how to make your own graham cracker house and to be a builder yourself. So as we learned from today's book, constructors serve an important part in our community. They work together on many different jobs to build buildings and roads and other necessities that we need in our community, and we should be very thankful for them.